Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are testing out this locomotive yet again, and I say testing, I mean changing this locomotive yet again. This is the Big Duck, it is the uh, FR1441, uh, and uh, yeah, so Frantic Rail. I, I don't know why I said FR, as if I didn't know what it stood for. Anyway, uh, this thing right here is impeccably slow. It is so slow. What I want to do today is actually renovate the entire thing. We're going to be deleting two of the boilers. We're going to be using the only boiler that is left, the one at the back. And we're going to be putting pumps on each one of these. In fact, I might put pumps on each one of these before we do that change, just to see if that will actually help. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Hey! Alright, so what I want to do is actually delete, in fact, let's go to the very front and see which is uh, happening here. So pump in is where we need a an actual pump, okay? So we need a pump on here. So this is steam in. Pump, let's go ahead and get one of those and strap it straight to this, essentially. Uh, unfortunately, that does mean it's going to go straight through a thing. Ah, that's not... I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. We're going to go ahead and put it on here like this. Turn it around, press U, turn it around again, paste it there. That is not quite right. Hang on, turn it around, press you again. There we go. So out. No, it's the wrong way. <laughs> it's the wrong way. I need something to be placed here so that I can actually attach onto it. But it appears that that is impossible. Hold on. There we go. So we're going to delete all of these guys. We're going to put a pump directly onto this. And we're going to do it. Oh, how, how do I want it to, to be done? Like this, I think. There you go. So let's have a little look at this. This should be out. Nope. The other way around. There we go. So this is in. There we go. That's what we want. We're going to go ahead and actually paint this a different color, probably black. And we're going to have this go straight into there instead. So have it go forwards. There we go. Bring it forwards like so. One, two. And have it go round and back in, uh, which should hopefully let it work. Yes. Okay. I know it looks ugly, but that's what we're going to go with for right now. We're then going to put one on the other side on the uh, out again. Okay. So on the steam out. Uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and pump it. Actually, is that okay? What's this? So this is steam in. Um, I don't know. If it goes from here, it gets pumped straight into the piston, and then it gets pumped straight out of the piston. Do we need anything on the other side? I don't think so, but, um, maybe. So, let's say it's getting pulled out of said piston. Actually, no. We'll have it just push into this one. That's probably the easiest way of doing it. So, steam in. Let's go ahead and delete all of these guys. Go ahead and whack this on here like... Ah, uh, I I hate the way placing these is. It's uh, it's quite difficult. So put that there. Then put one below it. There you go. Delete this guy. Get another pump. Here we go. And we need to whack it on here, but like this. So this should be steam out, which indeed it is. Let's go ahead and see if this actually does anything to our, um, our capacity for pulling. Um, or actually moving, I guess. It's actually our capacity for moving. But yeah, there you go. So let's go ahead and put that on there like that. Let's see if this works, and uh, we'll go from there. So what we need to do is put the uh, always constant on onto this pump and onto this pump. We need some electricity going to these guys as well, obviously. And what I want to do is actually run it um, with just this one, and we'll see if there's an improvement uh, over the one out here that's already here. I think that's a good idea. All right, so this is the one that we are testing to begin with. Let's go ahead and send it and see what kind of speed we get out of this. We've then got the other one working in there that's trying to uh, get rid of its steam and stuff, but that's okay. So currently there is there is steam flying through my face, but that's okay. I think this thing gets up to a speed... Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Let's release these guys. There you go. So we're going to release those two at the front. I only want to be running off the one at the back. And honestly, it hasn't actually dropped the speed by... Oh, it has. There we go. So it's... Oh. It hasn't dropped the speed by that much. So it goes about six. All right, see, six meters per second on one boiler. The one boiler at the back. This one should have probably exploded by now, but never mind. So let's get back here. None of them have exploded. Let's go ahead and send this one. Okay. Actually, send all of them to begin with, obviously, and then we'll release two of them. And yeah, it's just to get us moving to begin with. So there you go. Release two of them. Set ourselves back in the seat. What speed is this one going? So this one's staying around... Six and a half? Six and a half? I mean, that's a tiny improvement, I guess. Six and a half? Yeah, sure. So let's say six and a half on this one. 
Let's fly back over to this one and check what this one's actually at. And uh, we'll go from there, so let's see. This one's already six and a half. Okay, it doesn't change a thing. Nice. All right, it's time, guys. It is time. We're going to delete everything on the inside. Uh, I know this seems pretty crazy and um, like a weird step, but yes, we are going to be deleting everything uh, all the way down to there. There we go. Excellent. Delete all of the top bit as well and uh, all of the pipes below as well. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. Go ahead and cut it out. There we go. So now it looks empty. Very good. I'm now going to get rid of everything else that is remaining from these previous things. There you go, including these guys. And also these fireboxes back here. And then we're going to try again, but with only one boiler. Okay, so an eternity later, when I've deleted literally like all of the pipes except the ones that this one needs, uh, we've, we've made it to this point. I'm going to go ahead and delete these guys as well because they're unnecessary at this point. Uh, and we're also going to go ahead and paint the exteriors wherever these pipes are, if that makes any sense at all. So, um, yeah. Okay, right. I'm also going to change the color of the inside so you guys can actually see what's going on, because clearly it is very dark in here. So let's go ahead and make it cream. There we go. So you guys can see what's going on. Excellent. There is still some random pipes remaining from previous uh, iterations of this thing. But, um, yeah. So this is what we've got so far. Nothing is attached to here. Nothing's attached to there. And uh, that's where we are starting. Is that weird? Probably. But, um... We're going to go for it. We're also going to delete this guy right here. It's unnecessary. And we're going to attach that back to there. All right, good. So, so far, we've got one boiler. Okay, one boiler. And we've got nothing else. <laughs> one boiler and nothing else. All right, paint that, paint this, and paint this bit right here. There we go. Okay. So, now what we need to do is actually attach this one boiler to the first piston. The first piston to itself, then the first piston to the second piston, the second piston to the third piston, and the third piston uh, needs to send all of the steam back through a condenser. Hopefully, this will work. Okay, so uh, how do we want to go about doing this straight away? This is, uh, it's annoying, it is very annoying, but we're going to try it. So, we essentially need steam to be pumped straight into this. So we're actually going to put a pump directly on the outlet of this. I know that might sound strange, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway, so... We're going to do it all in cream because it's all going to get changed to uh, black or gray later anyway. So out is... that is correct. So that's going to go to there. We don't need to add two of these because uh, they, they're just as efficient as one. So that's fine. This is then going to put go straight in to this right here. So steam in. We need to uh, somehow allow it to go through here. And then steam out needs to go upwards straight into there. So go up into there. Attach that straight onto there. That's good. This one needs to come around, like this, down, and around, into there. So delete that, have it go straight down, then have this one come around, have it go around a little bit more, and then have it go in. So there we go, we got the steam going in straight away. That is fine. We've got this right here, which is still our, um, our go-forwards valve. This one is the release steam valve, just in case we get too much pressure. Uh, and that is fine. I think having that is okay, maybe. Uh, with that being said, our steam now needs to go somewhere. So we go from here. No, here. We go from here to the other side, where it will then get sent in through there. So let's get ourselves some more pipes. Here we go. Uh, straight pipe. Let's go ahead and put that there. I don't know whether I want to just constantly pump it around. I feel like pumping it around might be a good idea. But at the same time, probably not. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's do it anyway. Let's just keep pumping it. So, there you go. Fluid out, then takes it into this one, which should be fine. So, let's get ourselves a pipe. We're going to have it go this way. Nope, the other way. Have it go backwards. And then straight into this. There you go. So, that's good. We're then going to go from here straight down. Do, 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 do. Down, yes. Uh, and that needs to link up with steam in. No, it's steam in, not out. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, so steam, yeah, and then it goes across to here. This needs to go into the bottom bit. So delete that and that and that. Go ahead and put this on here like so. And then like that, just there. All right, good. So this is steam in. It is. This is steam out, which then needs to be sent back into the interior, pumped forwards, and then into this one. And then we need to do the same thing, and then again, and then hopefully it'll all work. Maybe. All right, so in order to actually get it back inside of the uh, the train, we're going to go ahead and lift it up through here, and we're going to send it in directly through where this one came out. So there we go. We could just put it in there, through there, just like so, and now it is back on the inside. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, that's 
That's a little bit annoying. Okay, we can just do this. So straight pipe, yes. Get ourselves the angled bit, and we can do it slightly different. So this will go this way, then it will go that way, and then this one will go forwards. That's it. That's all we need. All right, that's going to go there. We're obviously going to paint all of this afterwards, but we might as well paint some of it now. One, two, and three. And there we go. So now we add another pump to this one uh, with the out. Oh, with the in on that bit, and then the out on this side, which will then send it into the next ones where we do exactly the same thing, and hopefully that will work. Maybe. Okay, so I do want to say thank you to the people that have actually suggested to do this. Um, I know that you guys are trying to help, but I don't know whether we're going to be able to do it. Like, it still might not work even after all of this, which seems crazy, but it, it genuinely might not work. Uh, we're going to continue to try, though. So this one needs to be sent... Wait, is this out? I think this is out. Let me have a look. Da -da 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 -da. Steam out. Yes. So this one needs to be sent across to the other one. We are going to pump it across uh, like we have on the other ones. So let's just go ahead and do this, uh, if we can. Hang on. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. That's going to go there. So this should be steam in on this side. Let's have a look. Yep, fluid in, and then fluid out. So this needs to come over here, and it needs to go into the uh, steam in again. <laughs> and then the out needs to go up and in uh, yet again. Oh, there's a lot that needs doing here. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, steam out needs to go upwards. Uh, we're going to send it in once it gets up high enough which is probably around here, there you go, and we can send this inside, which will then get sent forwards via a pump. So we need to do this, we need to grab one of these, and we're going to do it that way around, and then it gets sent forwards via a pump into the next one, and then the, uh, the steam that comes out the end one is going to have to get pumped backwards, all the way backwards into this. Hopefully that's okay. Alright, so they're all attached together, now we go on this one, and we send it forwards yet again, and we take it in whatever side we're on, I think this side will be fine. Um, these ones are a little bit annoying, because obviously the steam is actually like next to the wheels, it's like pretty much attached to the wheels. Uh, but we should be able to do steam in, steam out anyway, uh, and that should be fine. So the steam in, obviously we're going to do it pretty much the same way we've done it on every other one. So it goes around, there we go, and then it goes upwards from there, and then we'll send it straight in. Uh, so up, and then in. There we go, and then we should be able to send it through here, but we're actually going to go up again. And I think that'll be easier, so up through there, then into the actual locomotive, there we go. And we should be able to send this from here into there, so do this, go ahead and grab this, send it from there to there, excellent. We're then going to grab this one, we're going to go up and over these, there you go, and we're going to go in. Yep, there we go, very nice. We're then actually going to bring it upwards once more, just like this. We're going to put out a pump on it while it's there, because we can, and then we should be good to go. So we need it um, kind of like this. So the pump on there, turn it around, whack it on there. So this should be out. We're then going to send it across from there into this one, and then this one needs to send it all the way backwards, and that's what we got. So we need the steam in. Where is that? Steam in is on the bottom. We're now going to have to do the exact same thing we've done on the other sides. Here we go. Get some pipes. So we're going to send it round first. So like this, then round there, good, and then upwards, obviously. And then we're going to send it in there, so we'll delete that real quick. Upwards. Oh, no, we're not going to go through there, are we? No, 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 we're not. All right, upwards. We're going to go up through there. That seems better. Okay, here we go. Then in, and then upwards again. There we go, and then in, and that's fine. So what is that for? That is for steam in, I believe. Yes, it is. So for steam in, we need it to go through there, which means this piece needs to go down from here, just like that, there we go, this piece needs to go around there, there we go, excellent, and they need to attach on together, so we're going to put that there, we're going to put this piece on here, we're going to attach them together like so, and that is fine, we're also going to have a valve come off of this, because this is our whistle, and we want to be able to use it, so we will uh, we'll do that in a second, in fact, let's do that right now, there we go, so this will be for our whistle, um, we're going to go ahead and bring it this way one, we're then going to grab one of these and put it on here. And then we need a valve that goes in here. And that should be good. Here we go. So when we want to whistle, we're going to go ahead and do this. In fact, the whistle itself is fine to not have a valve because it is a valve in itself. So that's okay. Right, good. Uh, so we've got the whole system attached together, except we now need to attach this piece on. So we're going to bring it up. Just like so. Bring it up straight through there. Yeah, sure. Straight up. Uh, one, two... There we go, and then we need to send this uh, like straight to the back. So let's bring it to the other side. I know it seems weird doing that, but there you go. So we're going to bring it to here. We're then going to send it backwards. 
Just like so. Oh, which we managed to hit something. That's sad. That's sad. We need to send it around that pipe. Let's do this. Here we go. Put that right there. Send it backwards. Let's go. So from here, all the way backwards, where it's going to go into the water pipe system. Uh, and that should be good. So pipe it up. Or pipe it down, I guess. There you go. So down and up right there. Attach these two together. Voila. So now we get the water going in. Uh, we get the steam going around. We need to actually pump this backwards. So let's do that real quick. We'll put a pump in here, I guess. Yeah, we need another pump. Here we go. We got a hell of a lot of pumps on this thing. It's ridiculous. But yeah, we're going to pump it this way. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, we need an angle piece to bring it this way and then in. And there we go. So everything's getting pumped uh, around. Very good. We now need to figure out <laughs> where this actually goes into the... Not there. There. Okay. So we actually need to raise this up, bring it around this, and that'll be fine. So up and around, and then attach these two together, and that's fine. Pipes. Do, 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 do. Straight pipe. Excellent. Very good. Very good indeedy. Nice. Let's bring this down. Uh, like twice. There we go. Bring this out. We're going to send this backwards. Like we should. And hopefully this will work out for us. I, I don't know whether this whole system will work. But we need to try it. Also, we need some condensers in here to allow it to actually work better. But, um, that's fine. So let's go ahead and put a pipe right here real quick. Get a condenser. And strap it down. I, for some reason, can't put it there, but that's fine. Just raise it up. That's okay. So we'll have it uh, here. Steam in, water out. That makes sense. In fact, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Delete these guys forwards all the way to there. Delete that one as well. We're going to have the water go straight in there. Okay, so steam in. Let's bring this backwards to here. Yes, delete one, two, three, and four. Now we grab ourselves an angle piece. Put it there. Put it into this. Voila! There we go. We got the water going in. Uh, or the steam going in, and the water coming out. Oh, incredible. Incredible. All right, very good. Grab this, put it on top of that. There we go. Send it this way, and attach these guys together. If this doesn't work in the end, I might cry, but hopefully it does. Um, what else do we need to do? Radiators. We're going to add some big old, big old radiators on both sides. And this is going to be our cooling. So it's going to go like that. On both sides. Come on. There we go. Wait. Why can't I... Why can I add it to this side, but not to the other side? Oh. There we go. Uh, this pipe was getting in the way, but that's fine. So, we now need some pumps on this in order for the pump to actually work. Or for this to work. Alright, I don't know whether this works. Uh, I genuinely do not know whether this works, but let's go ahead and do this. And... No, they're going to need to be opposites. They aren't they? They're going to need to be opposites. But anyway, go ahead and attach these guys together. Attach these guys together down here. There we go. And yeah, so they're, they're going to have to be opposites, I think. Because this is in and in. And then this is out and out. But maybe that's fine. Is that okay? I don't know. We're going to leave it like that anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and put some a constant on signal somewhere in here. There you go. And this essentially needs to go to everything. Literally everything. So constant on, constant on, constant on, constant on, constant on, constant on, constant. No, that doesn't need it. Uh, go backwards. Uh, large fluid pump. Yes, constant on, constant on. Okay, if I miss one of these, it will be disastrous. So we need to make sure we've got them all working. There you go. All seems fine. That one on as well. Good. And that one will only go on when it needs to. Okay, so that is everything that we need. Uh, this one doesn't have a constant on, so let me give that it too. Okay, what do we think, guys? What are we thinking? That's already to the whistle. Let's go see if this will even turn on. In fact, let's turn all of the uh, stuff back to grey as well. So, back to grey. Alright, let's go ahead and turn it on, and we'll see. We will see if it works. Alright, here we go. You ready? Oh, I accidentally deleted all of this. I need this back. <laughs> I need all of that back. But the boiler temperature doesn't seem to be getting up very high. Um, because this isn't getting up very high. Because it doesn't have an exhaust. That's why. We don't have an exhaust on this. I accidentally did that. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and put an exhaust on. We can go straight across the top. So go ahead and have it go straight up from here. 
just like this. Uh, bring it directly up into the sky till it touches the roof. Send it backwards, or forwards, I should say. And send it. Okay, it literally misses everything. That's fantastic. All the way to there. Attach it into here. Go ahead and get another pipe, which is going to be an angle, and attach it together. All right, is this going to work? I don't know. Um, that's okay. All right, we're good. Uh, these guys don't go to anything anymore, so what were they? Okay, they're not. We don't need those anymore, so delete those two. That one still works, though, so keep that one. Let's go. There's going to be some things that I've accidentally deleted as well that we probably needed, but let's go ahead and see what happens. So, do this. Okay, I can't turn that light on. Let's go ahead and give everything infinite electricity, because at the minute we don't have that on. What is this? So, that's up to 92, so it is working. The boiler temperature is going up too. That is excellent. We can't whistle yet, because we don't have thingy, my bobby. Is that light on? Oh, that sucks. I've accidentally changed this light to be um, grey. Really dark grey. Anyway, the boiler temperature is going up. We need to change this to pressure. Boiler pressure. And then this can go to like... I don't know. Something else. Maybe battery. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to let this get up to temperature. We can actually see the boiler from here. We jump in. We can see what's going on. So the coolant's working. The steam is working. We have a bit of steam. Steam is currently going out. And I know why. One second. Do 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 do. So we have a valve that is letting steam out, and it's because, if we have a little look at this, this number isn't attached to anything. It needs to be attached to a number. So let's go ahead and get one of those. There's one of the things that I've deleted that I forgot to put back in. But, you know, we can only see that if we test it, so that's fine. Attach this onto there, and this value is going to be 9. Yes, that might be pretty insane, but let's go for it. Alright, so our boiler temperature has actually reached uh, that much, which is 160. Okay, our pressure's gone up that much, so that's good. Let's go ahead and increase this. Obviously, we only need one of these now, but that's fine. Uh, our boiler pressure, we need to check that as we go. So, um, where is it? Pressure is 9 still. Okay, it is currently 9. We are moving along actually very quickly. This is good. Okay, so our testing is, is theoretically working. Uh, we've got a hell of a lot of steam still, so we got probably too much steam. We need a way of um, getting the steam out of there quicker. And also maybe not producing as much. Or getting it through the pistons more. I don't know, maybe we just need more pumps. But anyway, we are definitely running faster than we were before. So let's get ourselves a speedo, get this thing uh, checked, and go from there. Okie dokie, so now that we've got everything in place, we actually need to try and figure out what our bottleneck is, and I would imagine that the condenser is actually our bottleneck, especially because I'm not pumping it backwards from there into this. So actually, we need to pump on there real quick while I actually uh, mentioned it, so yeah, we need a pump going straight out of this. Let's delete these guys real quick. Uh, hopefully you guys can see. If you can't see, all I'm doing is adding a pump. Uh, we could use the impeller pumps. They're actually a little bit better, uh, just with the little electric motors. Uh, but we wouldn't, we would run out of um, electricity pretty quickly if we didn't have uh, unlimited electricity on. So that's why I'm not using those in case anyone is wondering. Anyway, let's go ahead and delete this. Go ahead and put this upwards. Have it go sideways. Ah, there we go. Have it go straight into this and have that pump straight into there. There we go. So this pump now needs to be always on as well. And now we should be able to go. And let's see if this increases our speed or not. We won't know, because we didn't check our speed before. But now we're going to check our speed. And if it's more than 10, I'm happy. Okay, so here's our boiler pressure right here. There is maybe another valve that we need to add to this thing, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. speed is zero. That's fine. Let's go ahead and increase this up. Now that our boiler pressure is actually working. There we go. And we are not moving. Is that because I've deleted the, uh, I think I've deleted the throttle that was actually being used. Yeah, I have. I just assumed this was the throttle lever that was being used, but it wasn't. So never mind. But anyway, um, do we have a pump pumping the water back to there? We do. We get the steam getting pumped into the condenser, the condenser cooling it down, and then a pump on the rear of the condenser sending it down to the fuel tank. Then the fuel tank, uh, sorry, the, uh, the water tank. Then the water tank pumping it straight into the boiler, and that should be good. Alright, guys, this is it. This is it. We got this. The other thing that I might actually do, maybe in a future episode, is actually add the uh, the bigger firebox. Because uh, that would make more sense. And also a bigger um, mineral hopper behind it, because also that makes sense. So hopefully that's all good. Um, 
I'm happy with this. If it works, I'm happy. It does mean that the entire thing is pretty much empty. But, uh, which seems silly, but I guess that's fine. Yeah. Alright, so our pressure is still going up. We, uh, we are accelerating uh, quite slowly. Let's see if our pressure is actually still going up. It's at 0 0.02 right now. As soon as the temperature gets a little bit higher, the pressure should start going up a little bit more. Let's jump into here and have a little look, see what the rest of the stats are. So our fluid is going in. Nice. Temperature is slowly rising. Our pressure is actually going down. But when the water goes in, it goes up again, obviously. So that makes sense. Um, yeah, but our temperature is staying at like 160. Every time water gets pushed in, it goes a bit lower, but that's fine. Let's sit in our little seat, see what speed we're going. Currently 30. Let's go ahead and actually stop this real quick. Let our pressure build up and then see what kind of speed we can get out of it. Because we've been 30 before in this, but that was with three boilers. I want the pressure to gain all the way up to 8. And then we're going to go. Okay, so we're at 9 pressure. Alright, let's see what this does. Wheel slip might be a massive problem here because of the way that I did that, but let's see. Alright, our pressure is at 9. It is slowly getting let off out the side if it needs to. That's good. And our speed is around 30. I don't think it's going to go much higher. This is literally what we were at before with three boilers. But we're using a hell of a lot less coal. So, I mean, whatever, right? I guess this makes sense. Nice. Oh, and there it is. There's the one that doesn't work. Nice. Smash. Way. All right, cool. All right, so let's get it pulling a tender and see if it still can. And then we'll go from there. All right, so there she is. This is, uh, it spawned in with the tender, obviously. Uh, the other thing that I've actually spawned in is this guy. This weighs about 33,000 weight, uh, which I'm not sure what the weight is in this game, but yes, 33,000 weight, um, because of all of the weight on it. I don't know whether we've got a reverser on our train, so let me go ahead and quickly check that. I don't think we do. So we do need one of those two. Um, let me add one, actually. So the reverser's gonna go just slapped on the back of here. And we need to put it onto there, we need to put it onto there, and we also need to put it onto there. And we need to label it, just so we know what it does. Reverser. There we go, good. Doesn't need electricity, so that's all good. So let's go ahead and save this as test. There we go, open it up, and we need to put it in in front of the uh, tender. And then we'll go from there. Alright, so at the moment, without pulling anything, it actually goes about 67 miles an hour, which is, uh, I would say pretty good. Uh, we are going to throttle up a little bit, and we're going to reverse, uh, to try and attach onto the car behind us. Let's go ahead and increase this. No. Oh, it's a push button, of course it is. <laughs> of course it's a push button, how have I managed to do that? Alright, whatever. So we are going to go backwards until we attach onto those guys. Alright, I've released the reverser, but maybe we need it a little bit more. Hold on. Here we go. Increase this. Go backwards a little bit further. Hopefully it'll attach on. I'm waiting for a clunk, but it hasn't clunked. Okay, we haven't we haven't heard a clunk. Hang on. Oh, there we go. There's a clunk. Okay, so now we appear to be attached on. We can now throttle up, decrease the brakes, and get it moving out of here. So this is pulling 33,000 whatevers. Um, wait. Okay, so it's currently going slowly, but we are on the, uh... Oh! This always happens! I need to turn these off before I start videos. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and increase this quite a bit. We're currently going 3 meters per second. It's not amazing. Now we're going 4. So apparently when pulling stuff in this, uh, it does actually get way worse. But that's what trains are for, so we need it to actually work. That might have been what the extra boilers would have been good for, but whatever, I suppose. Let's go and increase this to full. We're up to seven meters per second, almost eight. So we're at eight meters per second while pulling a tender and while pulling this, which is actually about the same speed it was going with without pulling anything before. That's ridiculous. Alright, so maybe we have to wait for another update in order to actually get this to work properly. I don't think it does work like uh, like real life. So, for example, I think the thing that is actually amplifying our speed and stuff is actually sending it from one steam thing to another steam thing to another steam thing to another steam thing to another steam thing to another, thing to another piston. I, I meant piston when I said steam things. And then sending it back. Uh, the fact that we've linked them all up actually helps. However, in real life, I don't think that would be, like, the case, really. Uh, I feel like another boiler in here, or two boilers, maybe that would increase the power as well, to be fair. But, um, yeah, it should definitely work better than this. I don't think 
Uh, sending the steam from one to the other to the other to the other is, is a good way of doing this. Also, the siren, very annoying. And then the other thing that I wanted to check was actually whether the actual um, thing right here, do do do, the condenser was actually getting anything through it. And it is. Steam is actually getting pushed through this. That's excellent. But yeah, I think I've got to the point with this thing where I feel like the outside is pretty much done. So we're going to leave that. We're going to probably do one more video on the cab, try and get that to look nicer. And then uh, probably leave it there. Because to be honest with you guys, um, I don't I don't like the way the steam is working. I am currently building a diesel train. And obviously they work a hell of a lot better. So we might go with that. But anyway, um, for now, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the series. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.